Biggest draft needs for the NFC North teams next on Fantasy Football Today in 5. Welcome to FFT in 5. I'm Chris Towers. I'm here with Dave Richard. And Dave, we're, we're going to, to your neck of the woods, the NFC North for the biggest draft needs. You're the, uh, you're the big Chicago Bears guy on the staff. And uh, Chicago Bears kind of don't have a ton of needs on offense right now. It's kind of an interesting spot. I feel like the, the two high-profile glitz and glamour teams in the division uh, at least for fantasy purposes, have pretty big holes. And we'll start with the Packers who, you know, they've got Christian Watson. They've got Romeo Dobbs, two rookies from last year. They've got the two running backs, the leading receiver after those two from last year's team. Do you know who it is? Or after those four? Josiah DeGuerra and his 13 catches, the leading receiver coming back for the Packers outside of Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, and the two running backs. So, I think there are pretty obvious needs on the pass catching side for this Packers team, assuming they get the Aaron Rodgers trade done soon. What do you think about that? I agree, and I'm sorry I didn't answer you or, or hear you very much <laughs> earlier on in the show. I think I'm having some connection issues. I apologize uh -oh. for that. But I'm with you. I think they need a wide receiver. I think that the Packers uh, need need somebody who can at least challenge on the opposite side of the field of Christian Watson, maybe somebody who's more – of a possession type of wide receiver. They are a little bit thin there. I would expect there to be an opening for a rookie receiver to come in and, and maybe be a second half player kind of like Christian Watson mm -hmm. was last year. Yeah. They could also use a tight end. This is a team that Robert Tunyon's not returning, at least as far as we know right now. So they've got some, some real needs on the pass catching side and the Vikings kind of do too. They, you know, they've got Justin Jefferson, but they let Adam Thielen walk traded TJ Hawkinson or er, Smith left. I think the biggest need there is a pass catcher, right? I disagree. I, I think that they could probably get by with KJ Osborne. I think they like what they have in KJ okay. Osborne. Uh, and, and I think that they really want to give TJ Hawkinson uh, mm -hmm. a, a pretty big role. So that's a big three in the passing game for them. I wonder if they're going to go shopping for a running back, Chris, because Dalvin Cook, uh, they could cut him now and yeah. reap the benefits on their salary cap. But if they let him play this year, they save even more money on the cap next year. So either Dalvin Cook has played his last snap for Minnesota or he will play his last snap this year for Minnesota. They do have Alexander Madison back into the fold, but I don't know if they view him as a feature type guy, um, at least a guy that they would want to have as a feature guy entering the season. I could see the Vikings adding another running back before the draft is done. Wouldn't be surprised if they, you know, took a maybe day two pick on a quarterback and tried to develop the position beyond Kirk Cousins, given, you know, his age and contract status. Now we've got the, the that Lions. That is true. Now we got the Lions and Bears who, you know, have been sort of the also rans in this division for a little while, but Lions especially, I, I'm not sure if there's a big need for this team. Obviously, I'm, I'm on Ross St. Brown, Jameson Williams. Very good wide receiver duo if Jameson Williams is healthy. Uh, the the running back combo of David Montgomery and DeAndre Swift gives them really talented guys for all three downs and all the roles. Tight end, I guess. Maybe they start to look for their quarterback of the future. What do you think for the Lions? Yeah, I, I'm going to point to quarterback. I think they need somebody to, to eventually replace Jared Goff. And they've kind of done the opposite of what a lot of NFL teams are doing. Uh, they built their offense, and and frankly, they're starting to build their defense. And their last big piece, the, mm -hmm. the final puzzle piece, is going to be a quarterback. And I expect the Lions to uh, strongly consider a quarterback in this draft. Maybe they wait one more year. They can start Jared Goff this year without really hurting their cap, and they can move on from Jared Goff uh, without very much cap issue after this coming season. Now, how about the Bears? They made the big move for DJ Moore. They brought in Deontay Foreman. Maybe they're not done at running back, but they might be. What do you think of this team? What's the biggest need here? I, I think their biggest need, and the, you're going to yell at me for this. It's a <laughs> cop out, but it's offensive line. Yeah, they need no, to do a fair. better job of protecting Justin Fields. Dude, I think they can get by with Khalil Herbert and Deontay Foreman. Mm -hmm. And maybe spending a day three pick on another running back if they want to. Looks like we're having some connection issues with Dave. Let's um, give him a minute. I'm here. Dave, can you, you repeat me? yourself? Yeah, yeah. You said uh, 
They could get by with Khalil Herbert, and after I'll that, I'll be brief. I, I, I think they can get by with Khalil Herbert and Deontay Foreman at running back. So I don't think they have to go and and get Bijan Robinson or something like that in the draft. And I'd be surprised if they went wide receiver too after getting DJ Moore. I really think they're going to settle on offensive line. I think that's the big need here. They've got to you know shore up the offense. They've already done that, adding some pass catching talent. So this is a situation where getting guys who can keep Justin Fields healthy and safe are, I think, the biggest needs there. So that's going to do it. We're talking about the AFC North in tomorrow's episode of Fantasy Football Today, the biggest draft needs for the AFC North teams. We'll see you then.